Happy International Cat Day. I'm tired of all these days. I don't know how you guys feel. They're not real. I'm sorry. They're not real. Unless you have this culturally significant thing happening and a lot of, like, a fuck ton of people celebrating for real, it's not real. Like, who declares this? Who decided? And who cares? Who cares? Who cares? You know what I mean? Yeah, marketing scheme, exactly. International Girlfriend Day. I've seen that like 10 times per year. What? But yeah, I'm tired of these fucking fake ass holidays. And then, and then, you know, you know, you know, it's funny. A couple of my friends, when it's like National Girlfriend Day, you know what they started doing? They started like actually getting their girlfriends flowers and food and things like special as if it's another Valentine's Day. And I'm like, bro, you're doing this five times a year because there's some day and it's going to cost more because it's that special day or whatever. Just do that any other day to show appreciation at any, any other time. And don't do it when they're marketing shit at these crazy prices. They're, they're getting you. That's cute though, I don't care. It's not cute for $500. Oh, babe, I bought you these roses. They're $150. No, no. Just do it like when they're cheaper because it's not a holiday and there's no demand. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're spending $500, you'd be surprised. They're like, oh, we have to go to a fancy restaurant and I have to get her flowers and then yum, 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 yum. No, no. It's like a whole, a whole day, you know, and they're spending all this money. And you know, I, if you have that money, fucking go for it. And I don't mean half. I mean, if you like really have a lot more than that and that's like you sneeze and that money comes out of you. Yeah, go for it. But dude, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like every one of these days is a marketing scheme and they sell a fuck ton of extra stuff because people feel pressured to do this and I don't like it I don't like it I think I think if people are celebrating shit all the time also it like everything becomes too normalized like nothing special you know what I mean so I don't know you also like having an excuse what's what's with their own I don't want to say self-esteem why can't they just like why do they need an excuse you know what I mean why can't they be like I like my girlfriend so I want to get her something why can't they be like, oh, I like my cats. I want to buy them something. They can't. You don't have to be like, it's International Cat Day. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, just do it. I don't know. People actually buy things during these days? Yes. It, it, and it's to a scary degree. To a scary degree. I remember I was looking at something and, and um, there was someone who did a lot of analysis on a lot of data of things that are sold, you know, certain items sold on certain days, whatever. And they were finding that these international whatever days that people make up or national whatever days... Uh, they they are actually increasing sales of things by by a lot. So it's kind of I don't know I don't know. Don't like that. Don't like that. Your birthday is the day before Valentine's and nobody gets you flowers because they're too expensive on that day. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Where's International Stay Inside and Play Video Game Today? That's every day, brother. <laughs> brother, brother. That's every day, brother. Every day. I don't know. It's just it's just like. Too much, it's you know? National Giga Streamer Day. Mm, very true. That means you all have to watch me. Very true. Go spread the word. <laughs> Go let everyone know. It's National Giga Streamer Day. You all have to watch Giga. Brother. Brother. What about International Mother's Day? There's we have normal Mother's Day. There's there's like a, a normal Mother's Day that already exists, and we can do that one. Okay. You should be like nice to your mom the rest of the time, too, though. You know what's the worst? Oh my god. Some kid takes their mom out on Sunday, Mother's Day. And they're like, it's Mother's Day. Mom, you're the best. You're the best mom ever. And then a week later, they're like, fucking hate you, mom. And they're like punching the wall. <laughs> you know how many times I saw that shit in like high school? <laughs> you don't let me fucking do anything. And they're like kicking shit, throwing stuff out the window. And I'm like, you're so ungrateful. <laughs> Mother's Day is like, oh, it's like their one day to breathe, you know? <laughs> It's not even a celebration. It's like what should be normal. Oh, it's crazy. You love Mother's Day because it's celebrated different days in different countries many times due to religious reasons. Yeah, exactly. Like every every country for the most part has their own. But yeah, it's pretty spread out. Pretty spread out. Mother's Day is KFC's busiest day of the year. It's not even close. Yeah, because people are like, oh shit, I need to get like food for the house. So they're like, bucket of chicken. You know, it's like so easy <laughs> to, just, <laughs> to just be like, mom loves chicken. <laughs> It's great. Same thing with um. I think I think the other thing reported was rotisserie chickens from uh from like Costco from all these like 
grocery stores and a lot of them have the little rotisserie chicken thing that you can get um a ton of them were saying that mother's day they have a lot of sales of them because it feels like a home cooked meal sort of thing right you can do that and make sides without having to do the chicken yourself so <laughs> a fuck ton of people on mother's day they're like oh no i have to make i have to make dinner oh no and they go buy a rotisserie chicken <laughs> you despise those they're so dry it depends on where you get it from and it depends on time of day because they put them in at a certain time and then they're sitting there being cooked and there's a point where they are cooked and then after that they put them in a container and they leave them under a heat lamp so if it's left for too long now it's dry but if you get there like when it's done it's really really good so it really depends and you can actually call the store and be like hey i want a rotisserie chicken but i want it as fresh as possible what time are these going to be like done like, like, what's the time to pick it up? When are they first being packaged? And they can usually give you, like, a ballpark because they do it, like, the same time every day. It's the way to go, man. It's the way to go.